So the Raspberry Pi Foundation released something unexpected a few days back. No, it wasn't a Raspberry Pi 4 Pro Super Mega Board. It was a Raspbian Pixel based operating system for x86 desktops. So let's take a look. I'll be booting this on a Dell Vostro 3000 that has one of the newer and fancier dual core Celeron processors and 4 gigs of RAM. So this is a fairly new piece of hardware. The boot process is pretty familiar, although I couldn't get the persistence mode to work. We are greeted with a known Raspbian Pixel boot splash screen and after a few seconds a desktop environment that all the Raspberry Pi users have come to know and love appears. After that it's like using a Raspberry Pi that has just crash landed from the planet Krypton. It is also important to note that at this point the OS does not support UEFI boot. It only supports legacy boot so don't really expect it to run on any of the newer x86 based mini PCs like the upboard or the Intel compute stick. Being based on a Debian x86 expect the hardware support for newer devices to be really poor and for old devices to be great considering the fact that the kernel version is just 3.16. On my hardware, my touchpad and the newer Intel HD GPU didn't work. As a result, apps like GL Mark II and GLX Gear didn't run at all. But on the brighter side of things, the 5 GHz Wi-Fi and everything else worked flawlessly uh, without any hiccups. So let's take a look at uh, what's under the hood. The OS seems to be using the 3.16 based custom Linux kernel. Most of the aptitude package sources come straight from Debian with only one being from the Raspberry Pi for the user interface. The real usefulness of this operating system comes mainly from two things. The first one being that the OS is made for the Raspberry Pi and hence the RAM usage is extremely low, about 256 MB on idle and you should be as good for as low as 512 megabytes of RAM. That gives some tough com competition to operating systems like Lubuntu. The second and the most important one is that inclusion of Raspberry Pi specific applications like Pi Hat emulator which would allow for testing of the Pi Hat based applications on a PC before testing them on the actual hardware. Other apps like Scratch and Sonic Pi are also a welcome addition. All in all, this is a great piece of software. If you want to upgrade or revive your old hardware that has been sitting in the cupboard for ages, you can use this. It really works well on lower powered systems. As I said, RAM is not a very big deal. So I can see schools using this uh, and have like a few Raspberry Pis and install this operating system on their existing machines and scenarios like that. This is still a work in progress. Uh, don't expect too much hardware to be supported right off the bat, but uh, a lot of old hardware is really well supported. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.